Gil Z was able to quickly go there from having the um, original sketch there to having a sheet metal body. And we see Dom on the left using SolidWorks, moving through this model pretty quickly here, getting that tab that's bent out the back. Like you said, Phil, it's, a, it's kind of a different workflow, different mentality when you're working in sheet metal. Hey, what's up everybody? Before we get into today's epic CAD vs CAD battle, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. All month, we're gonna be taking the challenges from the tournament and we're gonna be remixing them a little bit, maybe changing some dimensions, changing the material. And we're gonna be adding them to the library over at TooTallToby.com. So if you want to challenge yourself to see if you could model these parts faster than our speed modelers from the tournament, this is your chance. Head over to TooTallToby.com, sign up for an account and unlock Practice Models Premium. And we are going to continue remixing these tournament challenges and posting them in the Practice Models library all month. So I hope you guys enjoy all those challenges. And of course, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about today's CAD vs CAD battle. I think everything is looking good here. And that means that it's time for us to turn to the Wheel of Fate. And the Wheel of Fate, of course, is used to randomize the drawings so that we don't have any idea what drawings are coming up. And the Wheel of Fate is sponsored in this tournament by our friends over at Plasticity. Be sure to visit them, plasticity.xyz. And so we're down to just four drawings. So it's getting high stakes here and it should be getting a little bit easier to be clairvoyant here. You know, if you guys are in the chat, we got Bogdan coming in 25 hype, J, J, J Miles 23, Hepatow 24, Jim U 23, 3D Hub 23, Gray 24. Shuffle, 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 and spin. And let's see what the Wheel of Fate has in store for this matchup. And it looks like it's gonna be Drawing number 25. Phil, maybe you could introduce us to our runners. Tell us a little bit about Dom and a little bit about Neil Z. Yeah, so I, I don't think this is the same Dom. Is this the Dom that I see all the time same, in the past that's on here dominating? Same Dom, continuing to same dominate. Same Dom, yep. awesome. I think he, last time I co-hosted with you guys back-to-back -back weeks, by the way, uh, I think Dom was one of the contestants. But yeah, started using SolidWorks 2019. Uh, lives in one of the best states i'm curious what state that is but he is a big <laughs> hunting fishing camping kind of guy so he must be from north dakota like myself mm. or northern minnesota outside of that we also have neil neil is a freshman at uw madison so we know that guy may like a little hunting and fishing as well maybe hockey also nice definitely outside of that autocad for nine years ago huh so I remember my days in AutoCAD and man, has it changed from the whole like command driven days, but loves mountain biking, outdoors, flying RC planes that RC planes is where it's at. Expensive hobby when you crash. Yeah, but you learn so much, man. That's a lot yeah. of, <laughs> a lot of systems working together there. And that I, I 100% agree with you back in the day, there was none of the safety systems. There was no beginner modes. It was in the air in a tree spend money yes yes wow all right guys well this is going to be a great matchup i cannot wait to see this we've got our good friend dom our number 10 seed running solid works from the united states going up against neil our number three seed from the united states running fusion here we go this cad vs cad battle begins in three two one Go! What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance on this part is plus or minus one gram. And Phil, we got a sheet metal part. The sheet metal we notes. Do. Sheet metal notes, it's six millimeters wall thickness, eight millimeter radius, and it can be modeled as sheet metal or as thin walled, and it is plain carbon steel. Here we go. Both of our runners are already in their CAD system. They already got a screen capture. They already came up with a plan. They've never seen this drawing before. And here we go. Dom on the left running solid works. Neil Z on the right running fusion. Now Neil Z won one of his matches last week doing sheet metal. So we'll see if he's able to get that train to continue to roll on here. But Dom has quite a bit of manufacturing and sheet metal experience. And you can see Dom's using a little trick there uh, with offsetting the geometry to help with the overall dimensions. That's a, that's a, so that's somebody who's done a lot of sheet metal who knows to use that trick. 
Yeah, so far, I'm actually very impressed on the start here. And I always forget being somebody that doesn't do a lot of sheet metal is like the amount of work that goes into a sheet metal part is crazy in comparison to your normal CAD modeling. Because if you wanted to do design that, machine it, I'm all about it. Simple, solid block of metal, no K factor, right? That's it, dude. It's it's crazy to see in the power of fusion, especially SolidWorks, you know, heavy on the, the actual sheet metal side of things. Yeah, it's definitely a different skill you have to know. You know, we saw in the last battle, we we, uh, we did, um, Max needed to know how to use sweep and how to use sweep cut. That's another skill that some of those people don't know. And now we see sheet metal, another skill that some people know better than others. But this is the world championship, you know. And so we definitely have a lot of different skills that show up on the wheel. Multi-body, we saw multi-body earlier today. You know, you got to really know all these skills if you want to take down the, the title of world championship. So... Very cool, though. It looks like Max was able to go from uh, having that original sketch to having a body that, that has the bends on it, that have that sheet metal feature on it pretty quick. Or Neil Z, excuse me. I think I said Max by accident. Neil Z was able to quickly go there from having the um, original sketch there to having a sheet metal body. And we see Dom on the left using solid works, moving through this model pretty quickly here, getting that tab that's bent out the back. Like you said, Phil, it's, a, it's kind of a different workflow, different mentality when you're working in sheet metal. It is completely, and what you saw there on the Fusion side is the flange tool where you can basically take a sketch profile. Now, I don't say a, you know, closed profile, but like an L profile or an L sketch turns, add your K factors and your bend data all in real time. Now, I'm a little curious on my side because do they have to give you the weight with it bent or as a flat pattern in the fort yeah like we're not getting into flat pattern because like you said that's going to incorporate things like k factor and you know not every cad system even has has that that depth of capability and so it's just the formed shape you know if, if you oh, didn't that's if you didn't good, know anything about them. yeah if you didn't them. know anything about sheet metal you could absolutely just doing you could absolutely just do the thing as a um as a solid thin walled solid and manually add the fillets and you could come up with the answer yeah 100 percent. so i mean that is a good thing at the end of the day so i guess technically it's a sheet metal part but it could be considered still a solid right yep exactly wow and and uh we see on the left dom moving through getting those fillets in place on that upper uh region he definitely just did a, a move that i kind of liked there i've never seen that inside of solidworks where he pulled his fillets from that inside tombstone feature and then he applied them to the outside of the tab yeah, that was really interesting. I think he maybe did like a window select there to get those fillets onto that outer tab. Uh, and that was, yeah, that was really interesting to see. On the other end of the spectrum, though, you do have Neil. He went the opposite route where he created a uh, projection and then an offset of the outside fillets to the inside. So always great to see two different workflows and the neatness that SolidWorks definitely has at the end of the day, considering I'm a uh, <coughs> Fusion <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. And I wow. do I do have to say the Ivan exploit earlier always fun always fun when yeah. you're watching this type of stuff. Yeah, very cool to see him uh, but see Max busting that out and uh, I think that maybe that was him almost uh, trolling the comments. I know that in the the match from last week the YouTube comments were pretty rough on him uh for using an Ivan exploit in a it, almost like an accidental Ivan exploit and so instead of shying away from it I think he just leaned into it and I I love that. I love that attitude. Okay, we are keeping an eye on this uh, this action here. I, I got to admit, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble even calling the action on this one. They're both moving so fast. It's such a complicated model. This is a Tier 5 sheet metal model. Quite a few features in this thing, but it looks like they're both coming down the home stretch, and we might see an answer coming into the chat here. We're going to keep an eye on the chat here. And Neil Z comes in with an answer, 682.6 grams. That is not correct. That is not correct. So Neil Z is going to have to refine his model, 682.6 grams. That is not correct with intolerance. Uh, so Neil Z is going to have to refine his model. He's going to have to keep going through. We see the... Uh, I got to say, regardless, even though you didn't get the right answer, that's impressive to put together a replicated sheet metal part in that short amount of time. Yes, I completely agree. And Dom coming into the chat with an answer, 671 grams or 670.89 grams. And that is correct. And so Dom is going to take it down. 670.9 670, 670 
Wow, wow, wow. And Neil Z yes. coming in just a few moments behind. 670.9 grams, and that is correct as well. Neil Z was able to find his answer. And wow, those guys are close. Oh my goodness. Guys, what a match. Phil, what did you think about that? It took my breath away. They were going so fast. I mean, I always joke about this, I think, when I host, but I've always thought about wanting to get on here, and then I see these guys, and I'm like, man, I'm I'm a jack of all trades. I'm not definitely an expert in any of them, and these guys, when it comes to design, are by far the top, the cream, you know, what it, I, I'm speechless. I, I, mean, I don't think I could have, I mean, I could have gotten probably two bends and that's it. And then these guys were done. Yeah, to put together a model like that, of that complexity in, in just, you know, I think it was maybe five minutes. Man, so impressive from both of our runners. Congratulations to both of our runners. Guys.